Untie the Lines Patrons Ask video. If you're wondering what all this Patreon stuff is about, here's a short explanation for you. Patreon is a rather new crowdfunding platform similar to Kickstarter or Indiegogo, but with a slight difference because it's not directed at creators who do a big project, let's say like a movie or a CD. It's rather directed to creators who do smaller works, but on a frequent base. So let's say you want to become a patron of Untie the Lines. This is how you do it. You go to www.patron.com, you set up an account, and then you just go to the White Spot Pirates Patreon page, choose an amount that you would like to pledge per video of Untie the Lines. Then you can also set like a monthly maximum in case I go crazy and I upload 15 videos a month. And that's it, you're a patron. And similar to other crowdfunding platforms, there's a little treat that you get in return for your support. For example, a digital postcard from Carl and me or a patron's ask video specially dedicated to you, like this one. But let's get back to the actual purpose of this video. Ken Wadsworth wanted to know, why did you pick Carl to be the boat for you? When I finally decided to pursue this dream of buying a boat and just untying the lines, Obviously, I still had to work for quite some time and save up some money to make it possible. And during this time, I was looking for a suitable sailboat to go and sail the world. When I first started, I really didn't have any idea about boats at all. So what I did is that I looked at all different kinds of boats that there were. I looked at fiberglass, I looked at metal boats, um, different size and different styles, just to groove into the topic and to maybe be able to do certain decisions saying this is what I want, this is what I don't want. I also talked to a lot of people what they think was necessary and good to look for. Quite early in the beginning I had this, um, I think it was a Delta 36, uh, quite a slim boat, nice lines, um, very boaty inside and I and I think it was because I was just like really wanting a boat and, and that I, that I thought about buying it. So I was really close to actually buying it. I was discussing already with the, the owners about the price and everything. But then I decided to not be too quick in my decision and just, you know, look for other boats. And that's what I did. And then there's another uh, favorite of mine during the search. It was a, it was a steel catch. It's called Polaris and it was uh, in Finland. So when I got there, it was all covered in snow, but it was a beautiful boat and it was a very nice interior as well. After a certain point in the look for the boat, I had decided that I would prefer a metal boat um, rather than a, a fiberglass boat. I just had the idea that it would be slightly more stable, slightly more safe. You know, all these dangerous uh, containers that swim out there on the ocean or like reefs that you might have a small encounter with. But during the search, I started talking to a sailor friend of mine and he is a big fan of the Reinke models. So I think he kind of talked me into the idea of having a Reinke. I really like the idea to have the twin keels, but I also really appreciate the design of the Reinke and the, the, the way that they're really sturdy as a tank. Like they seem to be a very safe boat. So that's why I started narrowing my search for a boat down to just looking for Reinkes. But after some time, I also figured out that um, if I wanted to buy a Reinke in, in Europe somewhere, that I would have to pay maybe between 30,000, 40,000 euros, plus whatever would be needed to, you know, replace whatever was broken. And that was actually a bit too much for my budget. And um, then it was one day that the sailor friend of mine told me that there is a a couple who had a Reinke Super 10 lying in Panama. They, well, they didn't want to, but they had to get rid of it. And when he told me about this option, first I, I didn't really like the idea about starting in Panama because, you know, I had this idea of leaving Hamburg or at least Europe, cross the Atlantic, get to the Caribbean and all this stuff. Um, but because the price was really tempting, and I really wanted to get going. I thought maybe I'll just give it a shot. I'll just go there, take a look at it. And, you know, if it's if it's not the right thing that I can still go back and, and find another boat. So the next week I found myself on a plane to Panama. 
Well, when I found Carl, uh, you know that he wasn't in the in the best shape. And uh, honestly, the pictures that I had seen before were slightly different than the picture that I got when I was there. But I think that what I saw, like I didn't anticipate that there's going to be that much work, I think. And I thought, well, there's a boat. It's cheap. Um, let's see if we can get the engine running. The boat is floating. Um, I really wanted to get going. I thought this is a chance, you know, this is a chance that I could take. And even if it means that I have to work quite a bit, you know, at least I'm in the tropics, you know, there's palm trees, it's warm. I would already be like on the journey and not still be in Germany looking for a boat. That's how I decided that Carl was the boat. And um, yeah, that's it. That's the story. Well, Ken, I hope you enjoyed your patrons ask video and if anyone else has a question that you want me to answer become a patron and get your own personal patrons ask video see you soon bye